Hello people of the web, it's me, Ali Valley, aka As of Pants. Today I was on YouTube watching a video about Todrick Hall, and um, in the comments someone was dissing him for being gay, called me and another person who were defending him, um, the, um, the offensive term for lesbians. So yeah, let's see what my amazing mother has to say about this. I think that woman should be ashamed of herself. She claimed that she, you know, her son or whatever, you know, was doing whatever, singing whatever. Um, so she's a mother. So while she's doing this or saying these things that she's saying, her kid is listening. Who's to say when her kid grows up that he may be gay? And you know what? He will stay in the closet, so to speak, because he knows that his mother is, you know, homophobic. Or this kid could do harm to himself because he's ashamed. And hey, you know... You don't do that. You know, you don't, especially when you're a parent. Hey, I mean, to be a parent is to have unconditional love. And one thing that's very important is to teach your child not to hate. You don't hate people. Hey, there, there are good and bad people out there. Hey, and you don't hate people. And like I tell I see our alley. You know, you don't hate yourself either. You need to have self acceptance. And be comfortable. I tell you this all the time. Be comfortable in your own skin. Because this is who you are. It doesn't matter what anybody says about you. Some people will compliment you, and the haters will hate and bring you down. But you hold your head up, and you be you. Hey, and, you know, it's not worth it. It's not worth somebody, especially this woman you don't even know, right, who's obviously very ignorant. Yeah, she was going on saying, I'm 40 and, like, I'm old school, sorry, but to me, he's gay and he's a, then, like, in all caps, she said the F-A-G word. You know, she's talking about old school, she don't know me, and I'm over 40. Hey. You know, I, I've been through life, and I've been through some things, and I won't get into that. And hey, but when I chose to be a parent, and hey, then you put that above anything. And hey, and you know you always come before anything. You are my number one priority in life. And hey, <clears throat> and people that are, um, that that are like that are just very little minded and to me what is she scared is she scared that some lesbian can come on to her you can always say no thank you i'm not interested i've had several women you know when i was younger i used to go dancing in san francisco and sometimes i've gone to some gay clubs and gone dancing and hey and i've had women hit on me and i'm like mm, no you know i'm flattered thank you but and it's not like they try to rape me or try to force me. They're like, oh, okay. You know, shit, I said yes to them. <laughs> you know, it's fun. I mean, life is short. Have a good time. Now, um, Mom, what was that term that you called yourself because of the amount of gay friends you've had? I'm a hag fag. <laughs> the other way around, but. <laughs> yeah. You told me that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. I love my gay friends, okay? And she's turning me into one. I love my gay friends. You know what? I have to say, gay guys are just probably one of the, the best friends I've ever had. And it's so easy to talk to them. Like, maybe because they're not trying to get at you. Get in your pants, maybe. <laughs> You know, but the reason that I like desperately I want like a gay a gay friend a gay male okay a gay a gay friend a gay male friend is because like they understand like the mind of a male but at the same time like they they're into dudes. Like a job, shopping, <laughs> and you'll be trying and you will like go try and wake him up and make him get in drag. And when we went out, I would try to force him to get in drag or. We would go out, and we would see a guy who might be cute, and I would be like, oh, no, he's straight. You better back up, man. <laughs> That's all on me. Okay. Um, you know, 
know, I just think, like I said, you know, in, in, in anything, you know what, um, I feel bad that, you know, what our youth, you know what, I feel like you guys are put through so much turmoil in school, you know what, trying to fit in, you know what, being depressed, you know, self-acceptance, you know, the way you look, the way you dress, you know, who, and at the end of the day, who it's gives a shit? Okay, those things don't matter. Okay, as long as you're happy, you know, but you just first have to learn to be happy with you. And I think that that's one thing that I love about you is that we had this conversation the other day. That you know what, you accept yourself, you'll act crazy and weird and strange. And maybe, you know what, sometimes you go a little overboard. And maybe that's my fault because from when you were very young, I used to tell you that. Let your freak flag, flag fly. fly. You know, or did I say freak flag fly? You know, I used to always tell you, let your flag fly, that freak fly. I said, you hold on. And now I don't know where it went. <laughs> it's like so up there. I think like it's past like Jupiter. But I used to tell you that because I wanted you to feel like you could be you. Okay? Yeah, I don't even know where that flag went. <laughs> and. I would accept it, and I think it's very important for a kid to be accepted at home with who they are. Then when they go out in the world to school, and to they the have more day. confidence. Exactly. Okay. And, I'm, and I feel bad because I know a lot of kids don't have that support at home that they need. Like one of like my online friends, like. She's in a, like, a very religious family, and, like, she doesn't really have support. And it doesn't mean that they're bad parents. It just means sometimes parents get caught up in the hustle and in the bustle of work, bills, this, that, their marriage. If they're single parents, you know, struggling to support whatever, but you, you know that I've gone through some things. Mm-hmm. Okay, but through all of that, you always still remain my number one priority. Okay, no matter what was going on. That Wait, was- real quick. By the way, guys, if you're wondering why I keep looking like intense at the screen, right now I'm my I'm future Ali. I'm reading the comments about people asking her to have her own channel. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. That would be amazing. But continue. Um. Well, anyways, like I was saying, my, it was the summer, we went through some stuff, and I split up from your dad, but I never put that first, and, you know, because you were important, okay, and sometimes people forget that, you know, what the kids need, well, just like, you know, one of the reasons why I left your dad is because I felt that he wasn't putting in what you needed, and I didn't think that it was working for you as much, and if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for me, okay, because who comes first? Me! Exactly. Oh, um, Mom, I also want you to react to this, um, see this girl at school was trying to explain to some people at PE that she was pansexual, and she, the people were like, what does that mean, what does that mean? She's like, it means they don't care what's in someone's pants. Some girl said, but doesn't that just mean you're bisexual? No, I would date a trans, it means I would date a transgender person. Why would you want to date a transgender person? Then boys chimed in, so that, will that mean you would date a dog? <laughs> Once again, that's just ignorant. It's just ignorant people, stupid people. You know what? Love? You can't help. Love wins. You Hashtag cannot love help wins. you fall in love with. Your heart is a whole different thing from what's in your pants. Okay? So if you wind up loving somebody on an emotional level, then yeah, why would you care what's in their pants? I mean, I'm not bisexual, I'm not pants, but I can't tell you, I told you this, we've had discussions, that... There would never be a possibility. Of you being with a woman. Because I don't know. I don't know. You know, you can fall in love. 
Like, you could be, like, gay for a certain person. Like, I know a couple of people that have, like, been with men all their lives, like, women that have been with men all their lives and, like, dated a woman but never dated a woman again in situations like that. Like, and all I can say to the little boys that say, oh, what does that mean to be with a dog? Well, obviously, you must have thought about being with a dog because who says that? Okay, so obviously, somewhere in your mentality, you thought about that at some point in time. <laughs> there you go, Jason. Because why would you say that? Who says that, really? Ignorant ghetto boys. That's who. No. And for the kids out there that don't have support and sometimes feel alone, and depressed, and like they have no hope. You know what? The only thing I can say is it will get better. It will. Hey, your teenage years, they suck. <laughs> they suck. Because you go through so much emotionally, just, you know, the pressures of school. I mean, they suck. That's why I don't pressure you. I tell you to do your best. In school. I've never pressured you because that's just a hard time in your life. I mean, like, I'm going through, like, so many, like, emotional, like, physical changes. Like, I have that stupid social life that I don't want to have. <laughs> like, I don't want to have a social life. And some people will agree with me. Some people will disagree with my parenting skills. But you know what? You don't fail. And you do fairly well. You were in the GATE program, or you are in the GATE program. Gifted and Talented Education Program, for so, those of you who are not aware. For me not pressuring you to do pretty damn well. You know, well, some parents will pressure their kids, you know. Oh, you know. Tiger moms. You don't have a A or a B, you know. Oh, my God, you brought home a C. How you dare know? you brought this honor on this family. You know what? As long as you try... That's all I can ask for. And mom knows when I'm trying. Yes, and I know when you are, girl. Um, that's, why, that's why sometimes I can't stay home and record. <laughs> so, like I said, for the kids out there that feel like they don't have much support and they just feel it will get better. You know what? I suffered from depression when I was younger, and I thought it was... The was, end yeah. of the world as we know it. And, you know what? It does get better. I mean... You're going to have bumps in the road, but you know what? What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. It does. And I feel like I'm a survivor. Okay, okay we, okay, Mom, we have listed three songs already. We've listed Love is Not a Choice, San Francisco, Girls, Girls, Boys. <laughs> Make, what Doesn't Kill You Makes You Stronger by Kelly Clarkson. Then I'm a survivor. Well, I I'm always said everybody needs to have like a theme song that plays through their head. My <laughs> times are going bad. That kind of uplifts you. So when you're feeling depressed and you feel like there's no hope, all of a sudden let that song "I'm a Survivor" let it jam in your head. Okay. I mean, it's I'm a su- the Reba theme song is what comes to mind when I hear "Survivor." So. And, yeah. So, um, guys, if you guys don't know, I have, like, a channel where I, I post a bunch of, like, original songs, and half of them have to do with, like, serious topics, like, I have an anti-self-harm song, I have, like, when I'm, like, like, body image issues, and the thing is, all this stuff is things that I've experienced, no, I've never harmed myself, like, these wrists are clear. Cause I kick her butt, no. <laughs> I can't show you, but these si- but these sides have no cuts. They always have bruises, but that's because I'm the biggest klutz on earth. And I said klutz, because to me it sounded like I said something else. But um, <laughs> like there's no scars, no burns, no nothing except purple veins. Don't think, yeah, purple like I have veins, I have skin. And all that should be on these arms, and these legs, and the stomach. <laughs> I know what else to say. But, um, and if I haven't already advertised this, I have, I have my email already, like, programmed to where you guys can get to it. It's allyvalerieshere at gmail.com. If you aren't aware, you guys can email me. 
and just like talk to me like me myself I'm not a professional but I can try and give you the bit of advice that I can and if I think it's getting too serious I will be sending you to like a crisis helpline or she have consult me. yeah I'll be like hey mom so um what can I do in this situation um if you'd like advice for me Angelica her mother you can email her and she'll let you know yeah, I'll forward it to her. <laughs> um, I, I feel like there's going to be a bunch of comments for asking you to have, like, your own channel. I feel like you would be, like, a YouTube star. Don't you guys think, like, my mom would rock on YouTube? <laughs> like, my mom, like, just, like, go through comments on videos, like, okay, this person's throwing the FAG bombs. <laughs> I kind of do rock. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't kind of rock. You do. Um, I really think, like, you guys actually, like, like my mom, because, like, my mom's a cool mom. She's very accepting, very open. I mean, I have a transgender cousin, and my mom, well, I was over the moon. I'm like, Whoa! <laughs> Which we just love. We're just yeah, I so love her. proud. She's fabulous. Of her, and, um. I have a, two gay uncles. And if my daughter ever came to me, like I told her with a girlfriend or whatever, or transgender, I would be very accepting um, as long as she was happy and they treated her well. Um, they better not raise a hand to my daughter because then I will have to kick some ass and they would never be welcome. And if I'm older, then you'll be beating them with your walker and cane? Shit. Think I won't? Just imagine my mom, wait. Mom just like comes up. <laughs> with her walker, she's like, wow. Your mom can kick some butt. You know I know. That. I know. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, by the way, when, um, I'll be having some funny story times about her. A.K.A. First grade. The principals. That teacher. <laughs> oh, I bet you were talking about a little crybaby. Yeah, crybaby. Aw. <laughs> Anyways, I was protecting my baby. Yeah, but my mom is crazy. Don't hate on me or she will go off. Um, let's see. What else? And she has her own YouTube channel, so don't, so don't be surprised if one day you're getting, like, spam from someone with a butterfly icon. Yeah. <laughs> I changed your icon to a butterfly. Thank you. <laughs> I asked you what one do you like? Oh. Okie dokie. That's what happens when you let when you let ten year old out. Are people control. commenting as we're talking? No, it's not live stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, before the studio gets too long, hope you guys enjoy this video. To the like button, hug that subscribe button, blow the comments. I'll see you guys next time on the web. Peace. <laughs> Bye.